Good morning. You can set your watch by these occasional vlogs of late. Probably should rename them. I've been saying that for a while and I've not done it yet. And I don't think I will because the minute I go, oh, we'll call them weekly vlogs because we do one a week, we'll start doing them. <laughs> we'll forget or something or we'll just get busy doing something else. So, yeah, welcome to another occasional vlog. Um, uh, first thing, camera. Uh, so, obviously, last week we got the new camera. If you did watch that vlog, we got the Sony ZV1. Um, so I've now actually watched the footage back and for the most part I'm happy um, definitely the focus is really cool on it, it's really good the audio seems better, it picks up a lot more so like Gemma's voice is a lot louder when we're outdoors and everybody else's voice is a bit louder and people doing scaffolding's a bit louder but you know you, take, so you can't have everything can you the image stability, so that's when we're walking along, you see it jerking us, I don't like that at all, it's not great I had actually been warned when I bought the camera by Kyle from View From The Cheap Seats that he finds the stability pretty terrible on this camera, and I agree. Uh, there's ways around that though, so if I find it particularly bad I can put just a little bit of software stability on my editing software. And also I think this, this camera lo uh, logs gyro, uh, which it uses to do the optical st image stability, I think, or possibly the software image stability, but it logs the, the movements and then you can use software on your PC to counteract that. I might have to look into that. I'm sure I read that it was this one that did it. But we'll find out anyway. Well that's just a fairly minor complaint. It's doable. Um, it's a little bit slow this camera so when you turn it on and off it, you're never quite sure if you've turned it on or off properly and then you turn it back on again and things like that. Um, also, the remote's really good. Um, Gemma noticed actually because I was like, I'm struggling with this camera because I can't see that it's recording. So it says on the screen over here, there's a tiny little red rec sign that's showing up. So I can see that it's recording now, which is great. And I can see the times going up and it's recording video. When I'm outdoors, the screen's harder to see because screens generally are in sunlight. You know, like when you're mobile phone, you've got to have it really bright to be able to see it, things like that. If you don't have an OLED one. Um, but Gemma noticed that on the, the handle that I got here, uh, there's a little red LED, so when I press record on the handle, the, the LED lights up, which is kind of useful, because now I can visually see that uh, I'm recording. Uh, obviously when I'm filming like this as well, there's a red light on this camera, which there wasn't on the Canon, so I can see. But when I'm recording the other way around, I can't see that, I can only see what's on the screen. So I do like that. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, I'm fairly happy with it. It's It's... Not doesn't do everything, but it was. This sounds really stupid because it was seven hundred pound, which is a lot of money, but that's quite cheap for a camera that does everything. Uh, so people will pay for like you know SLR cameras that are thousands of pounds and interchangeable lenses and stuff. But I can't really. I don't really want to carry all that stuff around because I mean we do have an, an SLR which we could use for vlogging, but these lenses are quite heavy. I mean you'd be alright using this one a bit like you'd be like this on me. Hello, this is my new vlog. Uh, no one needs to see that this time of the morning. Um, and but otherwise, I I just never fancied it. I just kind of fancy something I can stick in a little case and stick in my bag or my pocket. So for that, this camera is ideal. Um, yeah, I, I haven't looked at the zoo footage that we recorded on Thursday yet, so I do need to edit that vlog. So I don't know if that vlog's going live before this one or after, because I don't really plan that far ahead. I tend to plan about a day ahead for the channel. <laughs> we are we are. Um, we, I, I've always thought we could probably be a bigger channel if I planned and put the effort in, but it would probably detract from what makes our channel our channel if I did that sort of stuff. It's all a very off the cuff and for the most part just me being me and Gemma being Gemma. Anyway, moving on, enough camera talk. Uh, no, more camera talk. Uh, I did buy, on the back of um, recommendations from actually watching other people's vlogs, um, sorry, I'm just grabbing the thing I did buy and looking at our footage from our um, React series, which um, another one came out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Another one came out on Wednesday. I bought a ring light, which you put here like this, and then you press this button here, and it lights you up like this. This is this is exactly how you use these. Now, the way you use this is you put it like this around the camera like that and then you press the button and it provides more light on the subject and you can change it to be slightly warmer light 
a slightly cooler light. Um, I don't really notice any difference looking at the screen now, so I don't know if it's going to help. It was only cheap anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and when I say cheap, it's not like £700 camera cheap, it's, uh, ooh, there we go, that's what we need. Look like I'm looking through a toilet seat now. <laughs> yeah, it was like 15 quid. Uh, and to be honest, it, I kind of get the feeling that I'll make a really good desk lamp for when I'm working. Because uh, it really brightens up the desk area. I'm not so sure it has much effect on the camera. Although this camera does have really good low light um, functionality. So maybe when I turn it on. Let me try that again. I'm saying this, but I don't even know if the camera changes its aperture while it's recording. If I put more light in front of me. Yeah, it does. The aperture comes down to what? The, well, the aperture changes. So that means that more will be in focus at once. When I move it away, it goes to f1.8, which is like the, the limit. When I put it in front of me. It goes up to f2.5. There we go. So that's all camera techy stuff. Uh, what else is What else has been going on this week? Um, oh, I've got screen protectors for this camera, so we won't scratch the screen. So that's good. Uh, and I have a couple of little trinkets turning up to connect this camera and that ring light together for when we do more of a React series. Um, the last one didn't get a lot of views, so I'm kind of feeling that not a lot of people want to watch them. But it was enough views for me to, to go, yeah, we'll do some more of them. So we are going to carry on doing them. Uh, that's probably another thing about our channel is like, I'm, I'm making the videos primarily for me. So if they don't get many views, I don't really care. I'll just carry on doing them anyway. Because I'm not doing it for the money. Although the money is quite nice. The money paid for about a third of this camera. <laughs> Over four years. <laughs> so, you know... Um, what else? What else? Oh, uh, the Lego Space Shuttle. I'll show you in a bit. I'm about halfway through building now. Uh, it's a really good fun build. A lot of detail in it. And uh, weekend plans. We, um, you kind of feel like I, I feel like we're pressurized now into doing something because we've been talking about oh we're locked down and we can't do anything, and we haven't planned to do anything this weekend because we had our week, weekly zoo visit. We do have another zoo visit coming up. Uh, we won't be doing another full daily vlog from that, but we'll probably do a quick like bit in the, the occasional vlog because we are going to go and say hello to friends while we're there at the zoo. We're not planning to meet them; it's just purely by chance. We all ended up booking the same day, so I don't know if you. I think yeah, you can meet people outdoors now, can't you? Up to six people outdoors, and it's not going to be six people. Uh, it was like Wednesday. We uh, we just purely by chance bumped into some friends that we know at the zoo, so that was quite nice actually to say hello and catch up. And actually, um, that there was an element. Well, there was an element of pure luck there because Gemma had bought some art from our friend Wendy, and it just turned out that Wendy had managed to book the same day as us to go to the zoo. That worked out quite well. Uh, I, I did we show you the art in the zoo video? I'll have to show you it later on because I know not everyone watches the zoo videos. Because um, Wendy's an amazing artist, and the artwork is absolutely mind blowing, as it always is. I mean, you'll see in the background of our videos downstairs, we've always got Wendy's art, the cats and stuff like that. That's all stuff that we bought from Wendy. And up here we have our more fun things. So we have our canvas of us from Walt Disney World. Uh, Gemma's friend drew this Merc and Gem picture as a secret Santa. And also one of Gemma's friends made this Lego Merc and Gem as another secret Santa, I believe. And then up there we have our signed 13 from... Stranger Things uh, picture, which was signed, I think, before she actually had an autograph. So she was like signing stuff with a. I think she's got a different autograph now. We know it was her because Gemma's brother got it for us and stood in front of her while she signed it. Uh, and then some trinkets on the back here. We've got my Clubbill DeLorean Star Wars Lego set that I never built, which is the Battle of Endor 20th Anniversary Edition. That was a giveaway one. And there's my Imperial Officer rank badge that we got from the 2019 trip. At some point, I may be, I'm going to have to tidy up the shelves and we'll have them run through them again because I did have a bit of a tidy up and the Lego was moved around a bit but obviously I bought more Lego and now I need to consider taking some of those Lego sets apart and storing them away uh, just so I can make room for others. <laughs> I have cupboards, I have, sorry, tubs under the, under the uh, bed here that are full of Lego sets that are like complete, uh, just in bags and I'm ready to rebuild at some point in the future. I'm not complete and just jumbled up. Oh yeah. Anyway, this has been a bit bit of a distracto afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's Saturday afternoon. Um, we tonight we're going to have fish and chips again because we really like the fish and chips from the chippy we've been going to of late. So 
every couple of weeks. We have fish and chips. Uh, uh, we might watch a film something in this evening. We don't actually have any beers to try this weekend. I've not put any orders in from any of the local breweries and my pinter is currently brewing one for next weekend. I also have two further pinter presses for future weekends. So we're good, we're good for about six weeks of pinter beer though. Cause I do one every two weeks for that. Uh, tomorrow I think we, we did talk about possibly going for a walk but I think we're going to have a barbecue as well because the weather has been absolutely lovely. It's not been warm but it's been lovely so there's like not a cloud in the sky out there today. Uh, so if I spin round will you be able to see it? No it's it's going to wash it all out. There we go you can see the legs, upside down legs tree there and the sunny garden. Uh, so I think we're going to make the most of that. Get out and get some uh, enjoying of our garden a little bit. Which is kind of funny, again, because of the whole lockdown thing. We can go places and now we're like, let's go and stand in the garden and uh, have a barbecue and a quiet beer and enjoy our garden. But truth be told, the reason we've invested money in the garden is because we kind of feel like maybe some of our trips this year aren't going to go ahead. All of our trips aren't going to go ahead. So we'll put some money into the garden to make that a nice place to enjoy. Um, well, there's some nice Minecraft music in the background. I was going to stop the video then and stop it, but I don't think that content IDs. Uh, so I don't, yeah, we don't want to be pessimistic. We're kind of trying to be realistic about our trips. Um, and we're not saying that they're not going to go ahead because of, you know, being unable to travel. We're saying they're not going to go ahead because even if we can travel, we might not want to go. So we might end up losing the money on the, the deposit on our Florida trip, for example. Uh, the reason being we don't want to spend, the, we don't want to go and have half the trip we'd normally have for the same amount of money. And we don't want to have to be wearing face coverings in theme parks. Just because Gemma works in, um, you know, so in, she's like customer facing. So she needs to wear face coverings all day and things like that. Uh, and she doesn't enjoy that all the time and certainly not on our off time uh, we're not anti-mask at all um, but the thought of walking around a theme park in a face covering all day does not appeal to me so if that is the case we won't be we, we just won't be going um, we'd rather wait until things settle down and if you know if they don't settle down which I'm obviously hopeful that that's not the case then we'll look at doing different holidays in future this is the real talk isn't it because uh, I'll be honest with you, one thing we learned last year is when we go on holiday, the location is secondary to the fact that we're spending time together. So it's like I can see a future where maybe we don't go to Florida. In fact, we are planning not to go to Florida in the future. We're planning to go to different places. I mean, I'm sure that'll still be the place that we like to go to because we've always had good holidays there. But we're looking at like Canada and we're looking at like Europe and. It'd just be nice to go somewhere different as well, you know. I'd love to go to other places in America, not necessarily like the tourist hotspots from a UK viewer's point of view. We watch Carmen and Brian's view videos of Myrtle Beach, which is like a seaside town. Kind of reminds me of Southport, but a bit nicer. Um, um, and I'd happily consider going there for a holiday because it looks really chill, and it looks like they've got some nice bars and a nice beach, uh, nice places to exercise and go for walks, that sort of thing. Um, uh, but yeah, wow, this turned into a big long chat, didn't it? I've been recording for 15 minutes straight. Anyway, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on that, uh, you know, what you're planning as far as, I know a lot of people are super eager to get back to Florida, I can absolutely understand that. Uh, you know, people have missed it and it's their happy place and that's fantastic. Uh, I think my happy place is spending time with Gemma, which sounds really soft, but uh, the, the Florida holiday is secondary to that. Um, and we had a really good time at like Centre Parks last year, just chilling out and enjoying each other's company in a lodge that wasn't our house. <laughs> uh, so we kind of tried to recreate somewhere a nice little chill space in our house, so that if we can't go on holiday, we choose not to go on holiday. We've got somewhere to sit and relax, and you know, maybe we've missed doing that in the, in the past. We just need to tidy the place up a bit now. Well, I do. Gemma does does well tidy. I don't. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit, and um, we'll probably catch up when Gemma comes home. Gemma's home! You alright? I am. Excuse me, Coffee I did, did a chip, dance. but... We've been the chippy! Mm-hmm. Enjoy? Mm-hmm. Good. We also grabbed some, some beverages, beverages. And some 
buns for our barbecue tomorrow. Lovely. So what are we doing tonight? We are currently watching this day in the street. That's a good pause, by the way. It's a very good pause. Um, and I don't know, watching films? Yeah, I'm not watching films or something. We are watching bad films and uh, this is the progress so far on the shuttle. I've uh, got a couple more bags to do just to get the tail done and the uh, cockpit. I'll show you it all when it's done because there's a bit that isn't shown here as well. Starting the morning with the cat watching TV. There was just birds on the TV, he was quite, um, he was quite interested in that. You started watching a lot of people doing mudlarking, Gavin. Mudlarking, yeah. It, just, it was just a suggested video. Yeah, and it's, it's quite like, relaxing to watch, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. They just go like, down the, the river stuff Thames. Some of the stuff you find is like, like she's in America now. Yeah. We watched one in, mainly they're in London, not yeah. the Thames, but they did come to Liverpool. Oh, look, a chipmunk. Chipmunk. Um, so, yeah, what are we doing today? Um, right now we're drinking coffee. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make some bacon butties. And then we, we are hoping to enjoy our back garden and have a barbecue. Lovely. And also in the background, I'm playing a bit of Animal Crossing again. I need to take the mince out of the freezer. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And we might possibly think about going to a garden yeah, centre because yeah. we've got a few things we still want to get for the garden. Yeah. And we do want to maybe look at getting a gas barbecue for. Ease. Ease. And yeah. not, for, not so much ease, but I'd, I'd really like to like make steaks on a gas barbecue well, in the winter ease, and stuff. It, if you, you know. want to do some grilled chicken or mm. grill a steak or something, if you're doing it on coals, you've got to like the coals and wait for the coals to be ready, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, but that, I mean, I do ages. like that process and I, that, is, that is a barbecue. But it? it just seems like a waste yeah. for just two steaks yeah. or two chicken breasts. True. So in the end, I'm not feeling 100% today. I think I ate something dodgy. But anyway, we decided that rather than go anywhere, we'd stay in and relax. Still going to have the barbecue though. I'm still probably going to sit in the garden in a little bit. Although the sun has gone in, which is typical. Well, we can still isn't? make the barbecue. Yeah, we can still make the barbecue. Uh, but yeah, first week after lock weekend after lockdown, stay at home. <laughs> we will, we will get, we will start to venture out more and more. Definitely, I think after I get my second vaccine as well. Yeah. Because right now I don't want to take too much of a risk to go out too far. No, we're so close to being fully vaccinated, the pair of us, mm -hmm. and we don't. Yeah. And because we have so much Lego now, I have to take sets apart to display new sets, and the Porsche is coming down. So the shuttle will go where I used to store the Porsche. This is going to take a long time to demolish. The old barbecue fired up. Same deal as last time. I don't think we're actually going to cook as much as we did last time. Though. And also, it looks like it got wet. Well, it has no cover on it, so that doesn't shouldn't surprise anyone. <laughs> we we yeah, we can think we might get a gas one at some point. Not sure when yet, or if it'll be anytime soon. Although the last time I said that it was about the camera, and then I ordered it the same day. We'll see what happens. Also, this is about the only part of the carriage I'm currently using. <laughs> Can't be bothered uncovering the whole thing to just cover it over again in about half an hour. With these um, mason jars, we're thinking of getting some hooks to put them on the lawn because we've noticed on this fence here, one of the neighbour's cats jumps up and kind of grabs hold of this as he goes up. And if he brings the whole lot down, there'll be glass everywhere. So thinking rather than safe than sorry, we'll probably take them and put them on the lawn. And then if they drop off, the hooks on the lawn, they'll just land on the lawn and hopefully not smash. What have you done? I left that and it was fine and now it looks like it's on fire. Hang on, that's right, isn't it? it looks dead smoky. Mm -hmm. It's got some moisture in it or something. Because there there's still a bit of moisture on the side there, so avoid the food with that. Avoid that with the food. We're having some kebabs and some sausages today. Is it hot? Yeah. Good. So we're going to have smoked kebabs and sausages today. Look, I put our bird thing up. We haven't got anything to hang from it right now. I need to get some niger seed and some peanuts. Yeah. And also, look at the yummy food. We've got some chips and some salad, haven't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. It's not all meat. No. It's not all meat, meat, meat. And some rolls. And some rolls. And uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good for summer here now. Yeah, just need to sort. 
That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. So we're going to put the other bin there, yeah. and then you'll be able to see it. Yeah, that's a good point. And then we can sort it slowly then. Well, that barbecue cover might still come in handy because it doesn't. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just no. not watertight. But they never are. The because old fences I'm thinking of throwing up the back, behind the shed. So maybe if we double it up mm. and put it over the barbecue, it would yeah. be better. Um, well, if we put the well, old fences getting... behind the shed, get yeah. the, or maybe to the tip, get the ironing board to the tip. We got rid of the old vacuum cleaner and the old power washer. They went in the bin. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of room left. The cardboard we can either burn or put in the recycling bin. Yeah. That table is the one we used to have in the lounge. We could actually dye that. <laughs> Use it out here. Because it, we could it probably it last okay, the, rather than just throwing it, we might as well upcycle it or whatever well upcycle you call it. Because it, yeah. that is out yeah, here at the minute, birds have pooed on it. But uh, that's the old uh, laptop table that I used, but out here it works alright. They're a bit rusty looking on, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but that'll clean up nice for putting stuff on. Yeah, we can we've just give it a wipe there. And we've got that one, that, that one's looking a bit dirty, but it just needs a wipe there. Yeah, I think we're good. As we said, maybe get the gas barbecue. Just need more lights, disco lights. Hot tub. Don't Swimming pool down at the bottom. Oh no. Uh, get rid of the shed and have a big summer house. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it will get rid of the tree. Get rid of that pigeon. What I want to do is clear this space and get one of those little plastic shed things. Store type things. Yeah. yeah. Well, the trouble is here, the flags aren't level, or else I would actually get a good six by six shed put here, but the, with the flags not being level. So one no of those point. little plastic sheds is okay because the yeah. back. Area yeah, it is doesn't have to set level, does it? No. Um, and the fences, well, we can worry about that another year. Yeah, we've got nice fences on this side. <laughs> the ones we didn't pay for are lovely, yeah. <laughs> well, they've been there for a long time. Yeah, they time. have. I put, we put those fences up in yeah. 2009 and they've lasted till now and some of them started to drop. One of them's been repaired. That one burnt down, but that was a story for another day and previous people who used previous to live there. Previous tenants, yeah. In fact, not even previous tenants. It was just when nobody was living there, it got burnt down. Right. There was an old shed there. Yeah. Our shed was here actually at one time. When we first moved in, that's where now the shed it's behind, was. Now it's behind the shed. <laughs> it's the fence. I like it at the bottom of the garden better though. I think it looks nice down there in the trees. Yeah, well, we kind of leave it all natural so I'll let the birds and the butterflies yeah, can enjoy like that area. Uh, I do want to clear out some of those trees and leaves though. Yeah, we need, I want to get this one removed. Mm -hmm. The screen one. Yeah, the first. Yeah, well, I've done all the other. There was literally six of these all yeah, the way up. Yeah, I've got rid of four really of them. Only. There's one still at the bottom and then this big one here. But I feel like that's possibly about as big as it's going to get right See, now. See, the one but at the bottom, it is too I big. don't mind so much because it's under that tree. Yeah. It's, I don't think it'll get, it doesn't get as much sun because of that tree. This one, this one sprouts. Yeah. The privet bush is bird haven, they love it, yeah. so we're going to leave that. We, just we have taken that out of the way back, but yeah. it just recovers, so we just leave it. Just recovers. And we don't know what that, that is. It just appeared. But it appeared it? last year, I'm and it flowers it, quite pretty. That, yeah, it's um, like an iris or something. Yeah. So we just left it because so butterflies, birds, bees, um, yeah. and I've just sowed seeds for some lupins in my little pots. So maybe they'll grow. Maybe they won't. We'll find out in May to June. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nail. <laughs> All done. All done. And now we're going in to eat it because it's not that warm again. No. Actually, it's not bad this week. It's, it's much warmer than it was last time. You bring my beer in as well. Okay. Are you, are you just going to take that and sit on the this couch and eat it all? I don't know what you're having. <laughs> yeah, get in! In! You've been fed four times today. And you've not been fed much because you don't need feeding. Go on, in you go. I know. Go on, go in. <laughs> There you go, just to prove Jim's getting some extra food again. He's looking for more. For yeah, he, he's like, mm, this is just cat food. Can I, I have, have you're not having cat food. Can I have some of what you're having? He really likes it, so we, we picked him up this, it was in Booth, we picked it up yesterday, and it's uh, one of the sort of more premium brand dry cat foods, and he's like, hum, dum, dum, dum. Good evening. Good evening. You were just looking at long tail tits on the phone. Oh, wow. We've had some. I was, when I was working earlier, one of them landed up, oh, well this obviously can't really show you fully but upstairs the gutter you can just see it's at the top of the window there and I had the window open and the long tail tail landed in the gutter and then looked in at me and started peeping, it was very cute 
Uh, we're carrying on the vlog on to Monday because we didn't really do anything here today. We just had a super relaxed day, didn't we? And Je Gemma's making Gemma burgers tonight. So look forward to that. And no parcels turned up today, unusually. Oh my this is our first because there's nothing to show. Uh, I did look at the um, the space shuttle. But well, the hook's not coming today. No, the hooks are arriving tomorrow. Yeah, I've got some garden hooks for these two mason jars, three mason jars to go on the lawn. And I've located the uh, space shuttle upstairs. I still need to show that space shuttle actually, that's a good point. Uh, show the detail because it's now finished. I'm, I've taken the Porsche apart. Orange Porsche. Anyway, I'll catch up with that shuttle in a bit. It was a good build, it was one I really enjoyed. Kind of wish I hadn't rushed through it now. Mm. You take it apart and do it. I'll again. just have to buy another one. Yeah, the Winnie the Pooh one. The Winnie the Pooh. There's rumours of another set. I saw a rumour online of another set that I might want later this year, but I'm not going to say what it is because it is just a rumour. Is it the Winnie the Pooh set? It's not the Winnie the Pooh set. And it's not the Sesame Street set. No. And it's not the Looney Tunes minifigs, it's Looney Tunes mega fi mega fix. We've got enough mini figs so out now. And there is that uh, Lego Porsche, or what's left of it. I've started taking it apart. Um, <laughs> there's cardboard all over the carpet from this scratching post because this guy loves it. He absolutely loves this thing, so we'll definitely be buying him more of them. Uh, but yeah, he's got loads of toys, mice mainly. Loves, well, we like him to throw them around a lot more and get some exercise. Today, he decided instead that that little tab there that he's got in front of him. That was going to be his toy. It's it's one of those rip-off tabs off an Amazon little thin parcel box. And he's just been bouncing all around the living room chasing after it. So I'm not going to stop him because it's good exercise for him. Did you enjoy your burger? Absolutely. It was very nice, wasn't it? Really enjoyed it. Watching Zara again. As promised, this is the Lego Space Shuttle Discovery. It's fantastic. I love it. There's also a little sign. Because it is a what they would class as the ultimate collector's set, I think. It comes with a sign, all of these signs, and it, the, the labels were a pain to get right so that that bubble in the middle isn't like something stuck underneath, it's just the centre of the brick. Uh, you get the Hubble Space Telescope there at the back, hiding underneath. I haven't really got enough room to display them both in full. But this is the shelf where the Porsche was previously. Um, if I just do that. You can look inside, and there's a can of dam. The shuttle, sorry, the space telescope, I couldn't find a way to sit it in here permanently, but that's fine because I want it on display. But there is a mechanism whereby you can have it raised out above and across, and then you can connect the can of dam to it. But I kind of thought I'll keep them as two separate items. The undercarriage can be folded away, like so. I'll just do two of them because I don't want to reach around the back because I've already managed to knock this thing over twice. But when you push in this piece of the tail here, the wheels come back down again. And the, one of the SRBs on the back, if you twist it, you can control the flats on the back of the shuttle. It's a really nice set, I'm really happy with it. It was good fun to build as well. That's my second LEGO space shuttle and my third space shuttle in total because I've just seen up there is my little model kit of Atlantis from a few years ago I built. It's looking a little bit dusty these days, maybe I have to uh, revisit that. And also there's my uh, X-Wing, the Metal Earth X-Wing, unfortunately they do not age particularly well because they keep dropping and getting smashed. But yeah, enjoyed that set. Has highlighted how dusty some of the other Lego is, so at some point I'm going to have to come back and give this a dust. It's a bit windy so I apologise if it sounds a bit windy because you're on my phone because I forgot to bring the, 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 the camera. Look, we're back at the beach. It's the first time we've been this year, I think. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So we're going to enjoy a little bit of a walk on the beach. It's Wednesday evening and I think we'll end the vlog off with, with this walk as well. Yeah, we come straight from work. So yeah. I've got my trainers on tight, that looks so attractive. <laughs> <laughs> you Disney fans will be, uh, I'm sure, pleased to know that at some point later this year, the Disney magic should come up here. Heading up to the docks at Liverpool. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Liverpool so we'll uh, we may see her if we can be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> see her from here, watch her. Yeah, we, can, we might sit on, on one of our little walks. 
That'd be quite good actually seeing it from here because we normally go into town to see them. Yeah, they normally put something on, don't they? Yeah, whether they will this year, I don't yeah, know. They might not want to draw too much crowds. It's July, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be normal by then. Well, we shall see. Yeah. Those are Iron Men, we've not seen them for a while. Gemma's looking for old coins because she's been watching all the mudlarkers. <laughs> I'm not looking for coins here. Interesting bricks. <laughs> Interesting bricks, yeah. We these found are the, an old tyre. We did find an old tyre. These are the, the World War II bricks, some of them anyway. There's obviously loads more when we weird the other way. So we turned about and we're walking back to the car now. So I think we'll end this weekly, weekly vlog now because it's Wednesday and I need to edit it. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for watching as always. What did we do this weekend? Uh, not much. We never do. <laughs> uh, but you know, what are we planning for next weekend? Zoo. Zoo. <laughs> so we might do a little bit of footage at the zoo. There won't be a full uh, we, like, zoo, zoo update video because we've already done one this month. But we'll see you on Friday, maybe? Saturday? Yep. Hi. Birds getting everywhere. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. I forgot something on the weekly vlog. Did you? Yeah, I Did forgot you? to show them Wendy's uh, that you bought. This art? That, that's a packed lunch, isn't it? Yeah, it's a packed lunch. Very rare packed lunch. <laughs> there. There's the lovely artwork that Jemmy, Je Jemmy, Jemmy, Jemmy bought off Wenda. <laughs> Gemma bought off Wendy. It's fantastic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's Luna Leopard. Yes, so this is Luna who I, I fed in Lakeland Wildlife Oasis yeah. on my Snow Leopard experience. Yeah. She's all grown up now, yeah. this is an adventure. This, this is original art. So yeah, that's an original piece of artwork that Wendy uh, created and uh, it's fantastic. Uh, another to our collection. There's three of them. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.